Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2023, slot 2 DILR says that Anjali Vipasha and Chitra visited an entertainment park that has four rides. Each ride lasts one hour and can accommodate one visitor at one point. All the rides begin at 9 a.m. and must be completed by 5 p.m. So 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So I've drawn a table also indicating the different timelines. Except for ride 3 which last ride has to be completed by 1 pm. So ride 3 needs to be done by 1 pm and the rest till 5 pm. Ride gates open every 30 minutes. That is 10 am, 10 30 am, 11 am, 11 30 and so on. Whenever a ride gate opens, there is no visitor inside. The first visitor waiting in the queue buys the ticket just before ticket taking the ride. So whoever is at the gate will be the first person to enter. The ticket prices are 20, 50, 30 and 40 rupees for rides 1 to 4 respectively. So 20, 50, 30 and 40 rupees for the 4 rides R1, R2, R3 and R4 respectively. Now what we are given that each of the 3 visitors took at least one ride and did not necessarily take all rides. So each of them took at least one ride. None of them took the same ride more than once. The movement time from one ride to another is negligible and a visitor leaves the ride immediately after the completion of the ride. No one takes a break inside the park unless mentioned explicitly. So if it is not mentioned that there is a break, you will assume that they will continue to take the next ride as soon as the previous ride gets over. We are given that Chitra never waited in the queue and completed her visit by 11 am after spending rupees 50 to pay for the tickets. So Chitra spent 50 rupees and finished her ride by 11 am. Now there are two possibilities that she took two rides of 9 to 10 and 10 to 11 by spending 20 plus 30 or another possibility is she took only one ride which cost rupees 50 that is either she took only R2 or she took R1 plus R3 in any particular order, right? Then Anjali took ride 1 at 11 am after waiting for 30 minutes for Chitra to complete it. So Anjali took ride 1 at 11 am. Now we are given that she took ride 1. That means Chitra was taking ride 1 from 10.30 to 11. Okay, she was in ride 1 because Anjali waited for 30 minutes. So that means at this point in time, Chitra was taking ride 1. So this case is not possible. Hence, Chitra took first ride 3 and then took ride 1. So these are the two rides that she took, ride 3 and ride 1. Ride 3 from 9 to 10 and 10 to 11, she took ride 1. Now Anjali took ride 1 at 11 am and it was the only ride where Ch Anjali waited. So now she will take consecutive rides like next will be 12 to 1 and so on. Vipasha began her first of the three rides at 11.30 am. So she took three rides. First ride began at 11.30 am. And all three visitors incurred the same amount of ticket expense by 12.15 pm. Okay, so by 12.15 all of them have spent the same amount of money. So Chitra we know spent 50 rupees. Vipasha should spend 50 rupees by 12.15. She is not going to take another ride before 12.30. So she will take the ride worth rupees 50 in the first slot itself. So her first ride is R2. Okay. Now at 12.15, Anjali is on a ride. So she has all, uh, she must have paid for it. Right. So they waste it only after they pay for the ticket. Right. So they have paid for the ticket. So she must have also spent 50 rupees. So ride one is 20 rupees. That means she is on ride three right now. So she has taken right three okay then uh, this is done the last ride taken by anjali and vipasha was the same where vipasha waited for 30 minutes for anjali to complete her ride now what could be that last ride okay last ride by anjali and vipasha was same it cannot be r1 because anjali has always already taken r1 it cannot be r3 also okay uh, let us assume that she took R3. Okay. So if Bipasha takes R3, it is given that before in, uh, she has to, she waited for 30 minutes for Anjali to complete her ride. So Anjali completes R3 at here. 
and if vipasha starts r3 at here now there is some mistake first is and vipasha took three rights okay and second thing that is given to us is that uh, she waited for 30 minutes and before that she took one hour coffee break also so that is why r3 is not possible r2 is also not possible because vipasha is taking the first right as r2 so the last right taken by anjali and vipasha was r4 okay next thing is given to us is that vipasha took three rights and she waited 30 minutes for anjali to complete her ride okay so let us say anjali takes r4 anjali cannot take r4 here okay suppose anjali takes r4 here right so vipasha first will take a coffee break okay anjali can take this as r4 so vipasha takes coffee break and then waits for 30 minutes suppose we assume that anjali has taken r4 so vipasha will take first one hour coffee break then wait and then will start r4 okay now in this scenario what we are seeing that vipasha is taking only two rides vipasha has to take three rides so this is not possible so it means anjali took all four rides and last one is r4 anjali never waited okay only ride where anjali waited was this point so anjali never waited thereafter and hence anjali will take r2 and then r4 okay now vipasha will start r4 at here and will wait for 30 minutes and before that she has the coffee break so before coffee break she will take one more right because no other gap is mentioned so whatever gap is mentioned that we need to consider so this is the waiting time from 2:30 to 3 uh, and then we have from 12:30 to 1:30 she has to take another right which right will that be it cannot be right 2 because she has already taken it cannot be right 4 already taken no repetition right 3 she cannot take because anjali is in right 3 and right 3 finishes uh okay anjali is in right 3 that is the reason okay and right 3 finishes by 1 pm so that is also another reason to neglect it so she took right 1 from 12:30 to 1:30 pm okay so this is the solution now we can answer the questions easily what was the total amount spent on tickets by vipasha so vipasha is uh, 2050 30 40 are the ticket prices now vipasha is taking right 2 1 and 4 she is not taking right 3 she is taking 2 1 and 4 so 20 50 30 40 40 these are the prices 20 50 30 40 she is not taking right 3 so she has spent 20 plus 50 plus 40 that is 110 rupees what were all the rights that anjali completed by 2 pm so by 2 pm she has completed 1 3 and 2 which ride was taken by all three visitors so if we see ride 1 is taken by all three visitors how many rides did anjali and chitra take in total so anjali took two ride four rides and chitra took two rides so total six rides total amount spent on tickets by anjali anjali took all these rides so she spent a total of 140 rupees on the rides